everybody welcome back to the channel in today's video we're going to talk about a stock that is going parabolic to hopefully tomorrow all right and why should you keep it on your watch list and i'm going to be answering some of you guys' questions for those of y'all who dropped the stocks of interest in the comment section of this morning's pre-market analysis video right after the intro All right, y'all, before I begin again, do not forget to annihilate the like button on your way in. And also don't forget to subscribe if you are new to the channel. All right, so um, let's begin. Um, the SPY today, I put out a warning video about whether we may experience a little dead cat bounce. All right, um, I told y'all to watch that level, this red line of 46.50 right to see how it behaves and it did quite well um i told y'all that um unless we break above that do not be too bullish and to be very very cautious um later on that morning something very interesting actually happened let me change this thing to the three actually to the um to the five and then let me go to the spy itself all right and let me just zoom out over here. Yeah, so this is the SPY itself. This is the uh, the one with the option chain, right? This is what we like to trade. There was this flag that actually happened throughout the day and it broke out quite cleanly right over here. All right, clean for a long. And that's when I knew that there wasn't gonna be any any dead cap bounce happening anytime soon. So um, where is the SPY itself going to go? I think, I th right now we're at 468. I think that we're gonna get up to like 470 in the morning and then go to like 471. Maybe not reach it exactly, but just like tease it before we just immediately go down and consolidate for a while, all right? So let me change it back to the spy and the one hour. All right, so are we going to see this thing being pushed back? That one we will have, we will have to see. We will have to see. Um, we will have to see on that one. All right, and it also depends on how four slash NQ behaves over here. I think we're gonna go back to sixteen forty, and then from there things will get a little interesting. Now, now let's talk about the stock that is about to go parabolic. Um, hopefully tomorrow. That stock is A B B V. Again, all right. In the last video. Um, I did mention this one and I told y'all in the last video, I think it was at like 124 Actually, no 126. Yeah, and I told y'all that it had room to go all the way up into the 130s and it got to the 130s and It tried to collapse twice and it didn't fall and there are some short sellers over here right there accumulating puts hoping and wishing for the stock to collapse but if you look on here you can clearly see that there is a bullish pennant right there um, you have to be careful yes the bullish pennant is there all right it's there in the broke out this morning it broke out it held and um, there may or may not be there may be magical unicorn news in the morning that pushes the stock higher towards 134 and then pushes it even higher towards 138 before it ultimately collapsed. All right. Now, this video is not a video to tell you how to buy immediately at the gates because there's multiple ways to approach this. Like if you're a beginner, I, I will just tell you to just look for something that's just easier because if you look at this thing to the like this on a daily, right, it's, 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 it's near the highs. It's near the highs and things can get very, very dangerous. So option number one, you can wait and see exactly how it behaves and treat this as a day trade. If it opens up and actually stays above like 130, 131.50, just stays in here and then starts climbing up nicely towards 134 and towards 135, good. Then you can make some money on there and monitor it really closely on the way up to like 138, 139. Or option number two is to pretty much just wait to see for the stock to actually do what you want it to do. Again, if you're a short seller, you want it to go all the way up, get tired, and then you go in short. 
to make money on the way back down, which is what I really like to do. I like to do that a lot. Um, or you can wait for this thing to actually like pop and just watch the entire thing because it could pop, consolidate here, not even go above 134 and then immediately fail and start rolling over. And below 130, there will be a lot of panic. I will tell you that right now. So uh, yeah, definitely watch the stock for these. There is money making opportunity for both longs and shorts. Um, I will be, I would say mostly for shorts because there's a lot of room down here, but it's just not parabolic enough though. So you have to be very patient and approach it with, with caution. All right. And now if you're a beginner and this scares you, don't worry. I got another one for y'all that is not so high. Okay. And we're going to look at that one really quickly. Now, the other one is actually um, CIBR. All right. Cyber. And this one, I believe is a, um, I think it's an ETF, I think. Yeah. And the, the pattern that I see here, actually, let's just look at it. So this is cyber, right? Um, a very strong upward direction, right? Every time it dips, buyers love it and buy it back up. And right now it dipped again and it looks like it wants to climb. But the pattern that I want you to see is actually on the one hour. If you zoom over here, you can clearly see that there is a bullish pennant on the chart right there that broke out uh, yesterday, which was Tuesday. Yeah. And then today, Wednesday is consolidating and it's ready to go up even more. So um, the move is not quite done yet. Um, there is these levels right there that I'm watching. So definitely watch this one for a move up to $54. All right, if you like this better, the opportunity is there. Okay, so that's my very honest opinion on that one. These are the two stocks. Um, one, a little complicated. This one, a little bit simpler. All right, now, now let's talk about you guys' stocks of interest. The first one that we're going to address, we're going to address, we're going to address Nike, actually. And for those of y'all who watched the morning's pre-market analysis video, I told y'all to watch Nike for a fade. A fade because of the gravestone doji on the charts. And that's what it did. It popped and it just could not get any higher. These people that got trapped in this wix sailed again upon the stock. Like they just kept selling and caused the stock to go down even more. And they broke to that previous level right there at 166, which I told y'all to watch for, right? Because once that level is taken out, then it would just go down even more. And there was this was a decent day trading opportunity. Could it go down a little bit further? Maybe. All right. It got room to fall. It still it still has room to fall. I'm not too optimistic about Nike at all. Definitely, definitely not. So it's my very honest opinion on the stock. Um, the next one that somebody asked about somebody asked about mRNA. And for those of y'all who watched, I believe it was Monday's video, Monday night. Yeah, or, yeah, yeah, it was Monday night and Sunday night's video. Um, I told y'all that we were getting out since we bought it here, right? And that this was a shorting opportunity. And the shorting opportunity was quite clean. And it just kept going all the way down throughout these few days. Like, I didn't think, honestly, I didn't think it could go all the way down low. Like, no, I thought it would just stop here and then maybe like try to show some momentum here, but it just kept flushing down and down and down. And right now, there was another opportunity on the chart right here. Right there, right here, all right? An opportunity to make money to the short side at the open, very clean. Could it go down even more? I definitely think so. I think it can go all the way down to like, to like 220, I think. I think it can make it down there. Um, if you look at the daily, it's the previous level of supports. And it's been a while since it got down to these levels. So a retest would not surprise me at all. And the way this is looking, this is not a bullish setup that I would personally want to dip by. So just be careful if you're long, because I think that this is gonna drop some more. 
and the same thing applies with BNTX as well, all right? And last one that we're going to talk about, we gotta talk about Costco because this one was another stock that I told y'all to watch this morning. Um, Costco, I told y'all to watch this thing to the bear side just in case, just in case we had a dead cat bounce. Um, it started to fade. The, this is a tiny day trading opportunity from 545 all the way down to 540. It was there, but the neckline never broke. It never even got below this level. So I didn't even take a trade on it. I didn't even want to take a trade on it. It's just consolidating over here. And um, if it keeps consolidating, the short sellers who are in here, these individuals are going to get pissed off. And then they're going to keep covering slowly until the very last one of them gets obliterated on the way up to 590. All right. So um, it's my very honest opinion on Costco. And that is the end of the video. Again, do not forget to annihilate the like button for the YouTube algorithm. As always, it helps the channel a lot and allows more people to get this knowledge as well. Also, if you are new to the channel, definitely click on subscribe and click on the notification bell along with all notifications that way you don't miss out on future uploads if you'd like to be part of a private discord community you can find that as the very first link in the description of the video below also if you're not following us on social media you can find me at Paul and Guma and at Paranology Lab on Instagram and on Twitter and lastly if all of this is brand new to you if you're interested in getting started in the stock market we left some very basic step-by-step -step directions in the description of the video below. Step one to step three. It only takes about 15 minutes or less for you to get signed up with all the tools you need to start trading immediately. You can also get two free stocks, all the way up to $1,850. Right after you sign up with Weeble using the third link in the description of the video below. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Paul Nguma with Analogy Lab where we trade patterns and patterns only and i will see all of you in the next video all right enjoy the outro